What's up guys, Nomad Gaming here bringing you another episode on my channel. So for this episode we're doing something uh, really cool. I'm doing my first uh, mansion build. It's going to be like a modern, very modern mansion and um, I'm building it for a family that I made called the Porter family. I, it's situated in Newcrest and they kind of going to be like the richest type of family in Newcrest. So I at the moment all we have here is my basic shell that I built before I started recording because I was actually building it from a layout so there was a lot of deleting walls and editing walls so I didn't really want to record that because it would just be too over the place so I decided to just have the basic shell here and this is just part one of this video um, so um, at the moment it might look a bit chaotic and like it doesn't make sense but once the 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 build is fully painted and it's got all the windows and doors in it it will start to take more shape and as well in part two when we add the landscaping it's going to take even more shape so for the moment just bear in mind this is just part one and it's just basically the shell of the of the build so so don't think like it's going to look crappy and it's is this the pole build it's not it's just part one and just the basic layout of the build so um the base the outside of the builds obviously very modern looking and i do end up changing like the painting that you see going on now is not the fun the final paint scheme that i end up going with i do end up changing um some of the paint scheme towards the end of the video so my original plan was not to have a roof at all but now you can see i've obviously got a black a black sort of slate roof there um with a with a trim to kind of hide it from a different sort of view but i actually needed to have a roof because i needed the the top floor balcony to be covered and i needed a bit of like a coverage on the when you when you look at the top building right, right there where i'm painting the wooden paneling now i needed the roof to sort of like stick over that a bit to kind of get the general shape and um so i had to end up adding the roof but it actually at the end when I've when I once I've added everything and the, the windows are in <coughs> it actually doesn't look that bad like the window the the, the roof actually looks alright you know it doesn't look too bad but um, I might end up changing a few things during the different parts of the videos I don't know like I said this is not the not the the final sort of layout it's just what I came up with now the there was supposed to be where I'm painting right now was supposed to be the garage but I couldn't find anything to make the garage door that I wanted to make and then the, the the door that I did find that I could have used to make the garage door only wanted to work with taller walls and the taller walls would have just make, made my build look weirdly out of shape so I, was, so I end up deleting the garage and not having it in the build at all and um, it's just one of those things and to be honest there aren't any cars in The Sims 4 anyway so I know there's little toy cars that you guys can like um, you guys can increase the size of and make them like just use them as decorations as cars but let's be honest there are no cars in the sims 4 so it doesn't really matter if i have the cars in or not so i know i sound a bit irritated with that it's just you know um it's just weird that there's no cars in the sims 4 and the sims 4 has been out for many years and i'm still not over the fact that there aren't any cars in the sims, sims 4 and <coughs> obviously the they don't really give you much to work with to kind of make garage doors and all that stuff so I ended up deleting the garage so I'm just um, basically doing the outside of the of the house and I'm just painting and just getting so the painting is mixed between wood like a like a nice brown wood pattern paneling white and black so that's the color scheme of this house and on, on the outside and all the window frames are going to be black as well. But then the top floor, the, t the top part of the house, I actually end up um, doing that almost completely in wood towards the end. Because right now it's actually grey on top. But I end, up, I end up changing that and it actually ends up being looking much better. But you guys will see that as we go along. So for now, I'm just busy with the with the windows, putting the windows in the door so that it, it gets it gets a bit of shape and it kind of looks a lot better because without any windows, it obviously looks very like you don't really can't really see what's going on. So um, I kind of the win the window scheme that I sort of go go with in this. I use a lot of the big windows, like the open windows, 
um, that go from top to bottom but then I kind of integrated with smaller windows but I kind of intertwine them if that's the word and it makes it look like they it's sort of the same sort of window but just at a different angle so you'll see now um, this is the um, ensuite bathroom that I'm busy with and so I was just playing around seeing how I want to do the windows because we don't have um, we don't have a window that's sideways without any um, framing on it except one from spa day but the one from spa day is very small and you can't really enlarge the windows because it doesn't work with the glass so I end up going with that sort of look and it actually ends up <coughs> looking really really nice and um, I do it I do it at a few places in in the build and it's something new like I've never done it before um, it, this whole build is completely I've, I've like I've built big houses in the past like in my own sort of gameplay or whatever but it's the first time recording myself doing a big build like this and um, so I just went with what I thought would really look nice and it's supposed to be a modern looking house so the windows are supposed to look weird and like more open and at different angles because they're supposed to go with the the exterior of sort of the modern uh, the modern build. So right now, what I'm trying to do is find something to use as a garage door. But um, as you can see, nothing's working. And if I end up uh, making the walls taller, that looks really crap. So what I just literally scrap it completely, and I actually end up deleting the entire garage. I mean, I yes, I would have loved to have the garage there, but I just didn't. And I tried to use these small windows like underneath each other, but it just wouldn't allow me to. So I just end up scrapping the whole garage. And I mean, if you guys have custom content or um, different packs with different sort of windows that that can help you make a garage door, you guys are more than welcome to add a garage on there for yourselves. Um, I will be uploading this to the gallery, but obviously only once it's done. Um, once it's complete then i'll upload it so this this um sort of build i think it's going to be about <coughs> maybe three three parts maximum four parts um because i'm not sure how long the furnishing is going to take like the whole landscaping i'm not too worried about but the furnishing is what kind of takes long so i don't know if i'm going to have to separate that into two parts because obviously i don't want you guys to be sitting through a whole 40 minute or 30 minute video um, for a speed build because that is uh, too long for a speed build. So I don't really want you guys to have to sit through that. So we'll see um, how the furnishing goes when I even get to that part. So um, I just want to kind of get the outer shell done and the landscaping done, but I'm not going to be doing anything off camera. Um, so w when you guys come back for part two, it's going to be basically here where we left off. We're only going to be left. We're only going to start with that sort of outer shell. So, so you see how the second floor has got the wooden paneling on the front um, as the wallpaper. So I end up doing that kind of around the whole bottom piece of the second floor. And it actually ends up looking 10 times better than what it looks now with uh, because at the moment the side walls on this level are it's like a dark gray color so um, but I end up changing it it looks way better so we just putting I'm just putting some windows um, kind of in in a nice unique style but I end up having to change one of the windows for a door because um, I forgot that you the the balcony because this is a, a second fo floor balcony and the only access without another door is through um, this bedroom over here and it would be kind of irritating to have your sims walk through someone else's bedroom to get to um, to get to the balcony so I end up adding a glass door there I use a glass door from spa day and then this is the kind of deck area private deck area for the master suite um, so I left the one corner there without a window on purpose because I'm going to add like sort of like a big plant there <laughs> so some landscaping so I wanted it to be sort of plain like that and then um, this is the uh, walk-in closet that I'm busy putting windows on now and also I just wanted to add a cool sort of unique shape to it I don't know if I end up deleting the middle window um, I'll, I'm yeah I do end up changing it I think I add just a smaller window there and then um, the sort of the open roofing area that you can see over here um, 
I end, I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that because obviously I'm not going to put another roof over there. I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that or just maybe uh, because the the sort of the the house that I um I'm just fixing this the paint over here because for some reason it just changed and it deleted a lot of the painting that I did that I um that I did on the build so I'm just kind of changing changing it trying to get it to match. Um I don't know um, I've seen it a lot. A lot of the ga uh, a lot of your guys' games are also um, glitching, and it's kind of like a new thing now. A new thing now with Sims, where all the games are glitching in different areas for some reason. Don't know why, but um, back to the point. Um, so the sort of roofing area where it's just flat. I don't know if I'm what, what I'm going to add there. I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that and just because the build the, the the layout that I was building from, you don't see the roof. It's just flat. So I don't know what I'm going to do in those terms. I don't know if I'm maybe make it more balcony space <coughs> or a rooftop garden. I'm not too sure. I I think I'm going to kind of leave that until the house is completely done and sort of see what it looks like. But for now, I'm just going to leave it plain like that with just the gravel, um, the gravel over it. And we'll see, maybe add some, uh, some outdoor, like, vents and stuff to kind of make it seem like there's, like, vents on the roof or something like that. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe think about that and see as I'm going. But um, the overall build was um, very challenging, especially inside... Um, because uh, I have already divided all the rooms and stuff like that. It took me a really long time. Like this speed build is about 14 minutes, but in real time, this took me about an hour and a half to um, to build. I know it doesn't seem long, but it does. It is long when you like editing and deleting the whole time and having to reposition stuff. It, stuff. It's actually really long. Um, but I really did have fun doing this. Like I said, it's the first sort of mansion of its kind that I've built. Um, I've built a lot of big homes, like I said, but ne this is the biggest one that I've built and actually uh, the biggest one that I'm going to be putting on my YouTube channel. Um, so I really hope that you guys do like it. So, But like I said, bear in mind, this is just part one, so there's much more to come. But I do really do hope that you guys like it. And if you do, guys, don't forget to leave a like and also comment down below. Let me know what you think. So if there's any changes that you can suggest that you maybe want me to change, comment down below. Let me let me see what you guys think. Put in your your um your input because obviously you guys might have different ideas that might work that I'm not thinking of. So um, it would really be helpful if you guys leave comments so I can know what you think of the overall shape and um. And you can just let me know if you want me to make any changes to the style of the house or the roof or the windows. And we can just take it from there and see. Um, you know, it's it's nice to get some perspective from other people as well because not everyone thinks the same. And a lot of people are creative in a different way. So um, it will be really awesome to hear from you guys. And I just want to thank you guys from all the support I've been getting. Um, my Twitter channel, I think I'm on 130-something followers now. And I mean, I know that doesn't seem like much, but... It is kind of, it's kind of fast for how long my channel's been around and my page has been around. And on YouTube, I've got 55 subscribers. My goal is 100, but I'm so thankful for all the subscribers that I already have. Like the Sims community is really, really so, so, so awesome. You guys are supportive and you always there for one another. And I just, I'm so happy to be a part of it. So now I'm just um, putting the wooden, the wooden paneling, um, like I said. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just let me know what you guys think and I'm going to finishing off finish off now I'm just going to um, do the finish the wooden pat wooden paneling so I'll see you guys all in part 2 keep a lookout for it uh, it will be on my Twitter channel I'll see you guys there have an awesome day bye bye